Mm, mm, mm. My goodness, Mary. You are certainly looking sexy. I am in love with you, Mary. I would bow and kiss your feet. You are so glorious. This is the best character creator I have ever seen. You are a true beauty. I will give you a hairstyle that you deserve. A hardcore servant of America like you only deserves the best. Look at those eyes. They have seen deep, dark pain. They have seen the depths of hell. And they have rained hell down onto people's heads. Ooh. I like the red. You're on fire, Mary. Red, she will bleed you out. Be warned. For your hair, I'm thinking highlights. Or we could try a short shave on the sides. Or maybe some braids. Uh, hmm. No need to go overboard, friend. Mary is gorgeous with just a minimal effort. She does not need to spend 20 hours fixing her hair every day. Or any of that other nonsense. Distracted by my hair? This could be yours. Why, yes, I am distracted by your hair. It sure does look nice. Mmm, smoking. Ooh, what is it that we have over here? Hooray! It is the infamous broken highway. But if you ponder it for just a moment, you just might see that the highway is not broken at all. In fact, the highway has been fixed. For which highway is more glorious? This abandoned, broken down, beautiful highway? Or a highway stuffed with busy moving traffic? Your whole day is spent stuck in the traffic while you breathe in the poisonous carbon monoxide which people use to commit suicide with. So clearly it's deadly. I prefer this highway. I would like to thank Mr. President Eden for taking care of the world so well that it is just in a state of glory now. If the world wouldn't have changed in this glorious way, then Mary would want to put her car into the garage with the garage door closed and idle it until she met her death. Now she has a reason to live, a reason to serve her country. So thank you, Fallout 4, for coming and bringing Mary more adventure. You would think she would be happier with her husband and baby, living the American dream. But, in order to believe the American dream, you have to be asleep. Because this certainly is no dream. And Mary knows that, so she prefers this world. She, pre she prefers wandering around on this gloriously beautiful abandoned highway. 
with these epic views. Look at this exploration she's doing. Look at that beautiful world in the background. It is awe-inspiring. Ooh, need a footbridge over the broken part on the bridge. Just perfect. And Mary is now in heaven. She likes to live in this hard, cold world. It's beautiful. Living in a hard, cold, cold world is deep and blissful and divine, just like this raised highway is. Look at these structures built. Look at this bridge right here, these poles, all rusted. <sighs> now this is the true American dream that you can enjoy while you're wide awake. For anyone who thinks differently is most likely to be asleep or they know something that Mary doesn't know. Mary used to watch her job used to watch her husband go off to his job. Sure, he was in the military, but I'm sure he had a nine to five job when he wasn't outperforming his duties. And she would take care of the baby and their life would be the same. They would pay bills. And then they would go slave for somebody else. She went to school while she was growing up and was told that that is the way it's supposed to be. Yet she felt stifled. She felt her soul getting crushed. She felt someone trying to leech the life out of her and break her into a robotic broken down version of what a true being could be, who's wide open, who's wide awake, and who can see all. How was that for exhilarating? Put yourself in Mary's shoes. Is that more fun? Or is going to your job more fun? Is spending your day doing what someone else tells you to do more fun? Or exploring this world? getting into vicious fights where the adrenaline keeps pumping where you feel alive every second mmm sugar bombs Mary's favorite she lives on sugar She needed a nice nap after she ate her big bowl of sugar bombs with Nuka-Cola. 
instead of milk. Nuka-Cola and sugar bombs. Breakfast of champions. It's completely normal to eat sugar all day and very healthy for the body. Come, follower. Come. You will follow Mary. She will teach you how to be worthy to serve. You could all learn a thing or two from her. If there's one thing that we have learned, from the infamous Mary here. Wow, look at that. I had to interrupt myself just to say how glorious that was. <sighs> if there is one thing that we've learned, it is that Mary is a true American who lives to serve her country. When Mary met the wonderful Mo, who is a swatter, she made a video out of it too. She was in love with his take on the swatter game. And she sure did have fun time reminiscing about Mr. John Henry Eden. The finest president ever known. And I sure hope that maybe he can appear somehow. Maybe he lived through the 200 years. Mary trudges on in that hope. She is a true hero. Nice. She's faithfully. Again. Fewer paper cuts than back home. She faithfully serves her country. That is why she has all these followers. Come. And she will teach her follower how to properly serve her country. Ah. <laughs> I could just spend a thousand years on this highway. It's been so long. It's been years since I've got to run around on these highways. And I missed it. Such intricate detail that they did. All these footbridges and everything. Lovely job. Ooh, a billboard. Nothing like some good old advertising. Right, folks? Mary only takes what she needs. There is no overconsumption. All this buying of the next thing, the next thing, the next thing. That you don't even need. She does not live that way. That world is over. Where people slave. 
live a life that they don't want to. So they can just buy more and more garbage that they don't really need. No more cell phones. Ooh, the new cell phone is out. And Mary will bat your head off. <laughs> Fortunately, she doesn't have to hear any of that. Yet the billboards remain in remembrance to just how pathetic that was. to go to work all day to get some new clothes and items. She just took them off that dead corpse. And look at this, a lovely chair to take a rest on. The world just provides. And you just roam free and do what you want. Must have been fun being on this highway when the blast went off. semi track Yes. I'm sure there's a lot of whiskey on this highway. Mary's gonna get drunk. She'll probably really just barter it away. She doesn't mean to distract herself with booze. She loves just feeling alive and feeling her true feelings. She likes to look deep within herself instead of deep within a booze bottle. Light music that they're playing. It's beautiful. Da -na 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 -na. What are you doing, Piper? Piper is addicted to Mary.
Piper wants to follow in her footsteps. She wants to learn and observe everything that she possibly can from Mary. Because she thinks Mary is beautiful. And a deep, divine, and glorious soul. So she would follow her to the ends of the wasteland. Ooh, look at that building. I wonder who lives there. We should go for a visit sometime. Shan't we, Piper? Ooh, I can hear the highway creaking. Where are we headed? It doesn't matter. There is no destination in mind. We are just exploring, Piper. You don't always have to try to be going somewhere. You can just be, Piper. Just enjoy yourself on this beautiful highway. No need to rush off. Just take in how beautiful this is. That's all you need to do. Don't you worry your pretty little head about anything else. Jump, Mary. I love the creaking noise of the bridge, of the highway, along with this beautiful music. So relaxing. This is how I relax. You just pop in Fallout 4. Nice and relaxed, hanging out with Mary and Piper. Such a beautiful day. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.